Hey guys, thank you so much for coming to this video. Today I'm going to be reviewing and just talking about all my Sephora haul and what I liked, what I didn't like, what I've already taken back because I already took back a bunch of stuff that just did not work. So if you guys are interested in seeing all about my Sephora haul, let's get into it. <laughs> Alright, so the first thing in my order was this Charlotte Tilbury lip liner in the color Pillow Talk. And this was kind of something that I feel like a lot of people love. So like a lot of people love her Pillow Talk color, um, especially the lipstick. I just wanted to try the lip liner first. I'm always on the hunt for like a lip liner for some reason. Like I can't find the right lip liner. Um, but I thought this one would be a little bit too pink, but I actually love it. It's not too pink on me. I kind of wanted to not like it, but I, the first time I wore it, I put it on and I was like, I think it's a little too pink. And as the day went on, it just wore so beautifully and it looked really nice. And I was like, dang it, I love it. Does anyone else do that? Like you try something that's like really overhyped and you kind of almost want to hate it. So then you can take it back, but still know that you're not missing out. Am I the only one like that? But I was like, dang it, I like it. And my husband's like, what, like, what, is that a bad thing? Like, what do you mean? You, you like it. That's good. Right. And I was like, well, kind of, it's, it's expensive. I don't want to like it. I don't know, but I really do like it. I love the formula. I have it on today, but I also have on like a darker lip liner on. I feel like this one doesn't, it's not as like, I just need it like a tiny bit darker when I'm like self tanned, especially for filming. Um, but like everyday use, I love this shade. So I'm interested in seeing her other colors too. Yeah, it's kind of expensive, $22, I don't know. The next thing is this Oxygen Facial by Dr. Brandt. I already knew I loved this because I've had it before and I've been using it and it's still just amazing. It just tingly, fuzzy bubbles on your face. I don't know why I like it, but I do. And yeah, I will definitely use this whole thing up and it is expensive at $70, but Sometimes you gotta splurge on, especially on skincare. So, you know. The other mask that I got is this Summer Fridays, what is it called, the R&R &R mask. This one I've really been enjoying also. So it's kind of like more of an oily texture and it's got like a little, couple little like scrubby granules in it. So you just put it on and let it sit on your face for a while and then you go and just kind of wipe most of it off and just kind of leave a little bit so it's nice and hydrating and moisturizing overnight. And when I wake up, my skin is just like really nice and like not oily, but like almost like, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, it just soaks up all the moisture and it has like a little bit of exfoliating with the little granules and it smells like roses. It just, it's a really nice mask and I really do enjoy it. So I'm glad I picked this one up. Okay, something I took back is the Lawless Lucid Skin Highlighter. It looked really pretty and swatched. It looked pretty nice, but when I put it on my face, it just didn't do enough. For me now, like having the highlights that I have and love, I need something that is like just as good or better than the other ones I have. I don't need more just okay or like, yeah, it's kind of pretty, but like, no, I need like amazing, this is gonna just give me that glow that I want. Like that's all I'm looking for. If it's not that, then I don't want it. So I returned that, it was $27. Um, I was really hoping it was gonna be pretty because the color of it just looked so nice, but it just, just didn't do enough. So I took that back. I also took back the Lawless foundation. Um, it just was too dark. So hard picking your shade online because you never know what it's going to actually look like when it comes. Like there's times where I pick something that looks a little bit light on me, like a little bit light for my skin tone. And then it comes and it's like way dark. And then there's times where I pick like a little bit darker than I think. And then it ends up being way too light. So you just never know because it's online, like it's not in person. So, and obviously I can't, I couldn't go in the store. The stores weren't even open. And now when you go in store, I think a lot of the testers and stuff aren't there. So um, I think at Sephora, they probably will still like test makeup on you if you ask them to, but 
they're just there's not testers for you to test yourself it's just a very difficult thing to find foundation and I just I don't feel like the coverage was enough for me either it was more of a lighter coverage foundation so I just I'm not really interested in trying another shade it just didn't seem like the right foundation for me then something I am obsessed with and I'm in love with is the Natasha Denona Safari palette I I like I just felt like I knew I would love it and I do if I could even open it it's just so beautiful it's all mattes which I I love I haven't even used all the shades but I definitely used probably like half of them so far I am wearing it today with something else in the middle the little shimmer is a different ow the shimmer is a different palette just like a little pop in there but it's just I'm never disappointed when I use this like the shades are just really nice it's not like all oranges it's not like all pinks like it's a nice just array of different colors they're just they blend beautifully or this palette makes me really love Natasha Denona eyeshadows I do have a smaller one that was I want to say half the price of this the sunrise palette I think but I I feel like they're not as good of quality shadows I don't know if that's if I just don't like those shades as much but that's just how it seems to me but yes I definitely love this and then of course it went on sale cheaper after I bought it I think I got it let's see so it was $89 when I bought it and it went to like $65 or something so it went like another $25 off I'm pretty sure it's still um, that price at Sephora right now so if you're wanting this that's like half price it's normally 125 I would grab it while it's still available at that price I don't know why but it's a great palette if you are if you if you look at these colors and you're like yes that's for me go get it go get it now because it's good another thing I got in love is this little tart chrome paint shot shadow chrome paint shadow pot so it's just kind of this little it's like loose but it's like like firm and compacted in there like it's just this really pretty I can't even it's just gorgeous let me put some on my eye it just adds like this nice pop and I, I kind of want like all the shades because it's so pretty <sighs> that took a lot of concentration okay so I'm obsessed with it the shade of this one is really nice it's the shade top yacht it's like a very nice champagne -y gold color it just I think this shade would be flattering on like everyone so I just really think that's really nice it was $22 so something like this maybe don't go get all the colors because I don't think you need all the colors but maybe I don't know I want I want all the colors okay I need I don't need all the makeup in the world okay I don't so I just need to remember that but the other shades are very beautiful but this one just looked really really nice um, another thing I took back was the living proof flex hairspray so this hairspray smelled so good like you know the hairsprays where you smell it and you're just like I want to just put it on just for the smell like I just want that smell I don't care about the hairspray I just want like that's how it smelled it smelled so good the little nozzle and I talked about this in my video my haul video because I had used it that morning like the nozzle is just like this like whoosh, like whoosh, like nice light I don't know how to explain it it's not like a normal hairspray nozzle it was different it was different than that but the thing I didn't like about it was it didn't hold my curls I really love the way weightless hairspray or something like that but I'm sick of the smell of it you know when you just spray it every and you just like inhaling it like I I use that way too much so I'm sick of the smell so but it held my curls so well like it would just hold everything like this nice pretty like beachy wave it would hold it for like a week straight this one did not do that the next day after curling my hair and then ha using that hairspray it just was way too relaxed like it it didn't hold it enough and it said you know like brushable hold or holds whatever it's supposed to be like a really good holding hairspray but also like brushable which is what I want it just didn't work and for 
$27. I'm just not, it's, it's not worth it. So if you guys know of a good hairspray that keeps your curls just intact, but like brushable and just nice throughout, like for like a week straight, five to seven days, let me know in the comments because I need a good hairspray. So I also got this. It's the Primera Pure Brightening Serum and it says fade dark spots and protect which I've been using this. I really love how it feels. It actually smells really nice. I'm really bad at like describing scents, but like it's, it kind of smells like a, like a spa, like kind of herbally or like essential oily, but like in a good, very, very light way. So it just feels really nice and hopefully it will lighten dark spots because I do have a lot of like acne scarring spots, um, but that I haven't seen yet because I haven't used it enough but the feeling the smell all of that is all really nice so so far I'm loving it so I got this little Sephora favorites give me some balm like lip kit thing and let's see I've been liking them I think I've tried them all have I tried them all I haven't tried the peach balm yet mainly because I usually have nails and that's annoying to dig in there but I'll use it eventually but I think they're really nice and this, like, do you see this packaging? This is Pat McGrath. Uh, what is this? It's just their lip balm in clear, but like this packaging, it's like so sturdy and heavy and like luxurious and beautiful. I'm like, this is like, that's really nice. So I love this little kit. I love getting the Sephora favorites kits because you get to try all these things. There's a lot of full size stuff in there and it's such a good deal especially when you get a percentage off so it, this order i got 15 percent off sephora favorites are a must like if you don't if you don't really know what you like and you're kind of new to buying things at sephora check out the sephora favorites because they have all different ones they have perfume ones they have you know skincare ones they have hair one like the, they're just amazing so i took back this lxmi uh, Nilotica Goddess Glow. It was $42 and it was just like, like pink. Like I, if you, it just showed me what like the product was, I would think it was like a pink cream blush or like a, like a liquid highlight blush situation. It was just so thick and so pink. It just, it was just weird. I used it under my makeup a couple times and it just didn't really do anything. I like more hydrating, more like serums. For under my makeup this was just more of a thick not sticky but just I don't know I just didn't like it it was just not worth the price so I returned that and then the last thing which I'm still on the fence about I might return it later is this little mini styling minerals it's this hair this little hair kit thing which I did use the thickening spray this morning and I do feel like it did something when I first smelled them they smelled really good but like after applying this one like it didn't smell good when I was spraying it which is weird so this little kit was $33 so that's really expensive for just these little sample sizes so I'll try them out a couple more times and if I'm not like happy with it and noticing that it's doing anything then I'll probably just return this as well so that is it for this haul update I hope you guys enjoyed let me know if you guys have any of this stuff and let me know what you think about it down below um I'm curious to know if you guys have the same like do we get the same things do we buy the similar things like let me know i want to know i will see you guys in the next video bye